Uh, my name is Dr. Tesfaye Thalila. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists and the team lead for the third cardiovascular mission to Ethiopia as part of Heart Attack Ethiopia's series of cardiovascular missions to Ethiopia. And with me today is uh, Professor Mamas Mamas from UK and Dr. Kafeling, interventional cardiologist uh, from here in, in Ethiopia. Uh, uh, this is amazing. We're back in less than six months uh, for this mission and cardiac surgery is underway right now with one of our cardiac surgeons, Dr. Fred Mia, and the local cardiac surgeon, Dr. Fakede, which is the collaborative effort that we have been working on. Uh, I will let Dr. Uh, Professor Mamas uh, introduce himself and maybe you know, tell us what he thinks about this mission. So my name is Professor Mamas. I'm a professor of cardiology at Keele University in the United Kingdom. And we've already rounded on four patients. Uh, two procedures have already been completed. Um, so the patients range from medical professionals, so a, a, a primary care physician with exertional angina, previous infarct, who underwent cardiac catheterization. And we've performed PCI to a very tight right coronary artery. So hopefully this gentleman will now be able to go back into his clinical practice, be able to exercise without the limitations of his symptoms. The second patient was a gentleman in his 60s. Again, severe limiting angina, positive exercise test. We did the cardiac catheterization and that showed a chronically occluded LAD, severe trifurcation disease in his circumflex and a right coronary artery. He has good left ventricular function um, and some distal disease in his left main stem. So again, we think for this gentleman, coronary artery bypass surgery will probably be the best approach for him. We're hoping to schedule it later on this afternoon. We have another case that we're about to start, a gentleman with a syncopal episode, a collapse, um, one episode of chest pain who's come in, good LV function. We're going to assess whether there's a coronary substrate um, driving this. And then a final case of someone with quite severe left ventricular dysfunction very symptomatic. Um, I suspect he's going to have multivessel disease, he's a type 2 diabetic. We're going to reperform the heart scan in this patient to assess the left ventricular function and structure and then um, decide after the angiogram whether we treat him with PCI, whether it's in fact cardiac surgery. Um, I think this is a great mission. I think it's a great unit. I, I, I've enjoyed working with our uh, colleagues already. You know, that these are good guys, very well trained. Uh, but limited by resource. I mean, would you like to say something? Thank you, team. Heart Attack Ethiopia and the uh, well known and giant professionalism, Professor Mamas, Dr. Tasfai, and Heart Attack Ethiopia is a third mission coming here. They are helping a lot. We remember last time more than 90 plus and the first time about 60 plus. Now we are doing both here in the Black Line, uh, Ethiopia, where there are a number of lists of patients are waiting for a long time and some of the patients are waiting and die before they reach to their time. So because we lack some uh, uh, consumables, very difficult to have consumables. So this is a very nice opportunity to have uh, consumables, very giant uh, people in the world. And we have patients actually. We don't, have, we don't have a problem to have patients. And we have the infrastructures. So we are very happy to welcome you, to have you. We learn from you and we do together for the patients and I'm happy to work with you and I think the team always is happy and ready uh, to do more and more in the future. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, amazing. Yeah, this is, this is really very good and this is part of really what we want to do as part of Heart Attack Ethiopia's mission to work together with the team locally like it's happening right now in cardiac surgery. And there are two cardiac surgeries scheduled today. One is an 18 year old uh, patient with uh, mitral regurgitation. They're trying to repair that valve. Uh, hopefully they will be able to do that. And the second case is a VSD symptomatic and plus minus. We're also thinking about this bypass surgery. So, you know, we'll give you updates on how things go on the, on the Black Line Hospital as well tomorrow. Uh, very happy to be here. Thank you for all you guys yeah, are doing. You guys. Appreciate it.